Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ituturo ay how to find the equation of a line given two points. Kagaya po ng dalawang points na ito, negative 1, 4 and 5, 1. So its equation is x plus 2y is equal to 7. So paano nga po ba ma-determine yung kanyang equation? Yan po ang aking pong ituturo sa video na ito step by step. Okay, so for number one example, what is the equation of a line passing through points negative 1, 4, and 5, 1? So, paano po natin makuha o ma-determine yung equation of a line? Gagamitin po natin dyan yung two-point form of the equation of the line. y minus y sub 1 over x minus x sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, ano po yung y sub 2, y sub 1 dyan sa ating pong formula? Yun po yung mga numbers na kukunin po natin sa dalawang points. So, let us say, yung negative 1, 4 po na point ay point 1. So, if that is point 1, negative 1 is x sub 1 and 4 is y sub 1. So, always po sa ating pong point, ang nasa left ay x, ang nasa right ay y. So, yung point 2 po natin ay 5, 1. Yung 5 po ay x sub 2. And yung 1 po ay y sub 2. Since point 2 po yun. So, yun po yung ating pong sasubitute sa ating formula. So, balik po tayo sa ating formula. Subitute po natin yung given. Sa left side ng equation, y minus y sub 1. Yung y po doon na wala pong number. Yun po yung magiging variable natin sa makukuha nating equation. Kaya, yung y, stay siya na y. Minus, y sub 1, ay makukuha po sa point 1, eto po, 4. Kaya, y minus 4. Over, x, wala din pong number yun. Kaya, yan po yung magiging variable x sa ating equation. Kaya, x minus, x sub 1 po natin, nasa point 1, that is negative 1. So, x minus negative 1. Is equal to, sa right side naman po ng equation, y sub 2, asan po nasa point 2, ito po 1, minus y sub 1, ay nasa point 1, ang y sub 1 po ay 4, all over sa denominator, x sub 2, nasa point 2, ito po 5, minus x sub 1, nasa point 1, that is negative 1, so 5 minus negative 1. And then, isimplify po natin, yung mga pwede pong isubtract or i-add. So, dito po sa left side, yung y minus 4, hindi pwedeng isubtract po yung y minus 4, kaya as is po muna y minus 4. All over, sa denominator po, x minus negative 1, if you notice, minus negative 1 yan, magiging plus 1. Yan. So, magiging x plus 1. And then, sa right side, 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. Over, 5 minus negative 1, Again, minus negative, magiging positive. Kaya 5 plus 1 is 6. So, wala na pong pwedeng i-add or i-subtract. Ang next po natin na gagawin ay by cross multiplication. Ang una po natin i-multiply ay, eto po, y minus 4 times 6. So, ilagay po natin dito. Unahin po natin yung monomial. 6 times y minus 4 is equal to, sa kabilang pair naman po, x plus 1 times negative 3. So, nahin po na yung monomial, negative 3 times x plus 1. So, wala na pong magiging denominator kasi that is cross multiplication by or in terms of equal sign. So, simplify po natin yung ating equation. Multiply po natin yung left side, 6 times y minus 4 by distributive property. So, 6 times y is 6y. Then, 6 times negative 4 kasi minus 4 magiging negative 24, kaya minus 24, is equal to right side, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, then, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, kaya minus 3 po siya. And then, ito pong negative 3x ay ilagay po natin sa left side. Iais po natin yung ating equation. Sa atin pong standard form, Ang nasa left side po ay x and y. Ano po? So, negative 3x, pag ilipat po natin dyan, 
sa left side magiging change sa sign positive 3x. And then itabi po natin yung 6y, positive po siya, hindi po natin ililipat ng side na sa left pa rin po siya, hindi po magche-change yung sign. So positive 6y magiging plus 6y is equal to yung negative 3 na constant natin ay as is na po sa left side kasi constant. Ano po? So negative 3 and then ito pong minus 24 since nasa left siya ilagay natin sa right. Isama po natin sa negative 3 na constant. So, minus 24 magiging plus 24 po sa right side. Okay, so itaas po natin para magkaroon po ng space. So, this become 3x plus 6y is equal to negative 3 plus 24. So, ang pwede na pong isimplify lang dyan ay ito po, negative 3 plus 24. So, if you are going to add negative 3 plus 24, that is positive 21. So, yan na po yung standard form ng ating equation. So, ang standard form po natin ay ax plus by is equal to c. So, yung 3x po, yan po yung ax. Yung 6y, yan po yung by. At 21, yan po yung c or constant. If you notice, yung ating pong equation ay pwede pong simplify into simplified form. Ano po? So, if you notice, 3, 6, 21 is divisible by 3. So, pwede pong simplify natin by dividing 3 to all terms. So, yung 3x divided by 3, yung 6y divided by 3, yung 21 divided by 3. So, if you divide, 3x divided by 3 is, cancel mo lang yung 3, so matitira po dyan ay x. And then next, 6y divided by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, kaya 2y is equal to 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, ito na po yung simplified equation natin into two variables. x plus 2y is equal to 7. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung mayroon po kayong katanungan ay comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Be sure lang po na kayo po ay nag-like at nag-subscribe upang sa ganun pag, pag ako po ay nag-reply ay manonotify po kayo sa aking reply.